Hey, Brady. I'm still... I can't believe we talked yesterday. It doesn't feel real. It happened so fast, and... It, it, it still doesn't feel real. I, but it is. It is real. You're real. You're real, and you can hear me, and I know that we've been communicating for months now, but I didn't realize just how different it would feel to have you responding in real time to me. Is it sort of a cumbersome way to have a conversation? Maybe. But it's still the most scintillating interaction I've had in years. <laughs> the same message came up a little while after you signed off, which was pretty abrupt, by the way. TH, 9 a.m., Thursday, 9 a.m. It broadcast for a little while, and... I'm not sure if it's a holdover or you're saying that you want to talk again next week. I hope it's that. Either way, I'll be sitting by the radio next Thursday, waiting. Just like you're a date that has no interest in me. You said you don't want me to know you, but I... I want you to reconsider Birdie. I'm not going to... To hurt you, I'm not going to judge you, I'm not going to ask too much of you. Or at least I don't think I will, I'll try not to. I know what it's like to have something that you want to hide. Or to want to hide from the world completely. I've felt that. I felt that for most of the last six years, and I know what it's like to not be able to hide. I couldn't. After everything that happened, because Harry was there, and I could never hide from her. But I think, even if I could have, hiding would have gotten tired after a while. Aren't you tired?